Now would you join me, putting your hands together and thanking God for this anointed man. As he leads us tonight, help me welcome Paul Wilbur. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in this place. Be enthroned upon our praises. May our worship rise like incense as we magnify the sun. Mighty God of Israel, you're the Lamb upon the throne. All oh, blessing and honor to our God forevermore. Even so, even so. Yeshua, come, all creation cries for the returning of our King. Come and take your place on your throne, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, 
come and take your place on your throne, Jerusalem. And Elijah said to the people, why do you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, then serve him. But if the Baals are God, then serve them, but make up your mind. And 1 Kings 18 records a very sad line. The people answered him, not a word. And so Elijah said, this is what we're going to do. You hundreds of prophets of the Baals, you set up your altar, present your offering, but put no fire under it. I'll do the same. And the God who answers by fire, let him be God. And so all day long, from morning until night, they set up their altar, they prepared the offering, they sang and danced and they shouted. They cut themselves with stones and they bled their blood into the earth. But still no fire from heaven. And so about the time of the third offering, Elijah, the prophet of God, he took 12 stones and he rebuilt the altar. He placed wood on it, he prepared the offering, and laid it on top of the wood. Then he called for a great amount of water to be poured upon the offering, and a second time, and a third time, until the water soaked the offering, the wood, the stones, and filled a great ditch that surrounded the altar of the Lord. And then he lifted up his hands toward heaven, And he said these words, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you alone are God in all the land. And fire fell from heaven. And it consumed the offering, and it consumed the wood and the stones, and it licked up the great amount of water that had filled the ditch. And the people fell on their faces, and they declared, The Lord, He is God. The Lord.
give the Lord a good shout of praise.
It's the sound of victory For the power of his voice will wrap the enemy There's no weapon that can defeat us here We will triumph on every side More than conquerors through the might of Adonai Though the walls may stand before us They must him on every side God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, Elohim, Adonai, God who answers by fire, glorify your Son, Jesus Christ, the true Messiah. Breathe on us, send us out in the spirit of Elijah.
Jesus Christ, the true Messiah. Breathe on us, send us out in the spirit. to the Lord, all you that have heard, sing his praise, for he alone is worthy to be praised. 
All you stars in your courses, come bring your praises to the Lord. From the rising of the sun Till the end of every day I will say Hallelujah Adonai And all the nations of the earth With all the angels and the saints Sing From the rising of the sun till the end of every If you are now awake, if you hear the word of God, come and stir your heart with mine. Together with the angels and the saints, we bow before your throne to declare holy, holy, kadosh, kadosh. There is none like you, O Lord.
is the God of Israel. Elders bow in worship as the angel voices well. Fragrant clouds of incense swirl around your throne of grace. Lord, we bow in worship at the brilliance of your face.
my soul Take your rest And find your peace in Him The holy presence of the Lord Will fill you from within Open me your heart presence is fullness of joy. Bind up the broken hearted, set at liberty those who are bound. Bring healing to the broken in body. Restore Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to speak good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, open prison doors, to pour out the oil of gladness, and to distribute garments of praise. Those who believe would be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. We declare sickness has no place in this house. Division, dissension, you must go now. Broken hearts, be mended by the loving embrace of the lover of your soul. Cancer, go now in Yeshua's name. Blind eyes, open. Deaf ears, be unstopped. Tumors, go in Jesus' name. Yeshua said, I've come to do the will of him who sent me. And I only do what I see my Father do. And then he said to us, go in my name. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out the kingdom of darkness. 
Lord, we declare in this place tonight, we are disciples. We are awake. We are hearers and doers. That you would be glorified. And that the name above every name will be seen and heard and honored. Glorify your name in all the earth.
Sun. 
history behind the veil. Lord over heaven and earth, God of Israel. Come with your wisdom and power. Open your honor and strength. Lord, hear the cry of our hearts. Come, O conquering King. Paul's been a part of our company uh, really for many, many years and, and part of some of the biggest events we've done. And I think it's because it's all tied around uh, Yeshua, yeah. our Messiah. And, and it's like this is something that's transcultural, it's transdenominational. I mean, you go anywhere in the world and people are praying for Jerusalem and they're praying for it. It's, it's an awesome time. We're really expecting God to show up, and, and I think Paul's prayer, my prayer certainly, is that God would bring new revelation, that he would show up in power and his glory that we've never seen before in a way that we haven't experienced, and it's going to be a great evening.